I'm gonna open this bottle and put the uh, the water on ice. Let's see what happens. Check this guys out. Stay up ice out of the way. Check this out. Now it's ice. So on the same level, we're gonna make a bunch of holes. You have to be on the same level. So once you've done a bunch of holes and leave it somewhere on the table, it's not gonna leak out as long as it's the holes are on the same level. So once somebody picks it up, once somebody picks it up and push a little bit of pressure of, on the bottle to open it, guess what's gonna happen? It's gonna spray them. Or if they open, you see it starts spilling out. And once you close it, it will stop spilling out. For this experiment, we're gonna need a couple pencils and a Ziploc bag. We're gonna push the pencil to the bag and the bag not gonna leak out. So I'm gonna push it to right here. You see, it doesn't leak at all. Let's try another one right here. Check it out. Two holes and amazingly and amazingly it doesn't leak out. Really cool. That's it. We're gonna drop the cork next to the rim. So you challenge somebody to move the cork to the middle of the glass in the water without touching the cork. Seems impossible, right? But all you gotta do is fill up your glass all the way, like almost over fill. Look. And you see, the glass will by itself move in the middle. and it's not touching the rim of the glass. So you challenge somebody to put a paper clip on top of water so it will float. Most people will put it like that and it will sink. Or they're gonna try to drop it and it will sink too. The trick is fold one paper clip, put the other paper clip, put the other paper clip on top of it and just carefully Put it on top of water and it will float. Guess why? You're using this thing so you don't break the water tension and you see how it's all kind of water puffed up over the paper clip. It's pretty cool sand stick. See you right? And then we're just gonna move this camera and now you don't see. Pretty much like that. And then we're gonna put them inside of the water like this. And now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna squeeze my thumb in there and see what happens. It's just like block all the water to not let it come out the water and just squeeze it as hard as you can. See what happens. Boom! Do you see that? One match, one down. And if you let go, they come back up. Let's try this again. You see? Went down. We're gonna put a little bit of water. You see how water is boiling out because it's too hot? Boiled out. And let's leave it for another two minutes. So it's been about two minutes. You see how hot it is? And let's put just a little bit of water. Just a little drops. You see how all these drops just like spinning around and not boiling out? I want you to comment and tell me why. Let's drop some more. Two glasses cold water, two glasses hot water. Well, it have to be pretty warm. And uh, for the hot water, we're gonna get uh, red, you know? It's pretty good. Cold and red. And for the cold water, blue. 
stir it up real quick. Alright, I'm gonna be using this plastic thing to, to hold this like that so water will come out. And first I'm gonna put cold one on top, on top of a hot one. Hopefully I'm not gonna spill anything. I'll slide off. Alright, this is good. Now I'm gonna pull this thing out. Do you see guys what happening? The colors have changed. Now it's kind of purple because the colors have mixed together. You see that guys? So now let's move this one on side over here. And now let's put the hot one on top of the cold one. And we'll see what happens. Alright, we got the same same way. We're gonna do this one. Put on top of it. On top of the glass. Match it, gonna pull out the plastic, plastic bag and see what happens. You guys see the difference between these two? So do you guys see the difference between these two glasses? Why this one is mixed up and kind of purple color now and this one is still blue and red. 